So we have with us today. En plus, je parle très vite. I speak very fast. I'm sorry about that. We have today Catherine. She's a person who will uplift you, and uh, she does a few things uh, to do that. So one of the things she does is, first of all, thank you for being here, Catherine. My so pleasure. One of really. The first thing she does is make you feel good when she you are in her presence. <laughs> then, Merci. then she'll work on your inside and on her on the outside so so that's the first step you make the person feel good then you work on their inside and then on their surroundings yeah on the contrary actually sometimes uh, well for the people who didn't uh, understand the beginning if you if you miss the beginning i do a uh, feng shui interior decoration and uh, personal development basically okay. I'm, a, i'm a life catalyst okay. uh, and i use beauty and joy and um, lots of things like colors or whatever to help you uh, find yourself better and be yourself more okay. and so i can begin by the inside of you or the inside of your apartment or being that doesn't matter it's just it's just uh, the, a question of who you are and what you need there mm -hmm. is not a one size fit all okay so no consultation is never the same oh really no so let's say you meet me and you pick up a few things do you tell me or do you wait me for for me to ask you It depends the type of consultation we will be into. And uh, as one of my fabulous uh, mentor used to say, functional mentor used to say, the, the great Ed, uh, Dr. Edgar Sung, great um, astrologer, he was always saying, Catherine, pick your battles and don't answer the door if nobody rings the bell. Oh. Because when I you, when I uh, learned Feng Shui, I mean, I, uh, all these uh, three years with them, with my mentors, I was so excited, you know, now I can help everybody. Oh. I was like, oh my God, he's doing that. Oh, she's doing that. Oh my God, it's terrible, terrible, so terrible. So you want to help them. Uh, yeah, you, you're stupid interventionist. And if it's not the time, or if it doesn't affect them at that time, it's, it's not, they are not going to listen. Oh. They are not going to hear Absorb you. Absorb it. Okay. No, of course. I mean, you can tell me 200 times uh, you have to stop smoking. If it's not my day to stop smoking and my decision to stop smoking, you can drag me everywhere and show me the worst part of the world. I can know that I have to stop smoking and it's bad for me. I will not. And the same thing with anything in your life. Okay. So the same thing is that uh, depending of um, what you ask me, yeah. when, you, when you come to me, what you ask me, you say, I need you. Sure, obviously, everybody needs me, <laughs> but I need myself. No, I need you to cheer me but, up, for example. Voila, but at oh. the same time, now you're going to say, you know, I don't feel really good. Sometimes the reason I, I don't feel really up, and uh, I'm wondering what's going on. So basically, if I am at your place, you look in around? that case, I, I will look around anyway, and I will pro maybe find things that actually could be better for you, just in decoration point of view. But I can also check with you, I mean, usually I begin by the outside because it's easier and it's an, that's, how I, that's how I began interior decoration, actually, because it was giving me a, a foot inside of the door okay. so that I could get into people's life uh -huh. in a way that was very subtle and very cute. And <laughs> Very subtle, that's totally me. <laughs> okay. no. And, they, and no, no, then no. you can see... And, uh, and uh, I could help them uh, without uh, going into the whole um, uh, kind of They're energetic, fast. esoteric stuff that they don't really see. And then, but because of what I see and say inside of the place, they realize like, wow, she's right. So how do we do that? And then you ask for... Uh, more information and you give me more information and we build together for me it's an exchange I mean again it's not a magic stick I mm -hmm. really I really I mean there are people who will tell you do that do that do that but it's not my way of doing it's not for me the feng shui uh, the feng shui is a mean to an end it is not the only way it is not the truth it's a mean to an end the same way everything i learned in my life and in my previous lives and in uh, my people's lives or my friends life or my clients lives i'm going to use it to help you okay at that moment because now today you need help on that but to, in six months or, or two years i will see you again and you will maybe need something different you know hmm. Because of course you will be, uh, you will have to, uh, grown and you will have uh, applied some stuff and some other things you will still feel stuck or whatever. I mean, life's change, you know. I mean, a lot, we are talking about um, death before when we were chatting outside and people die, people were born, people uh, get uh, together, people break up, you know, people get sick, people uh, uh, have beautiful moments and mo moments that are more difficult or traumatic. 
and uh, for every time there is a way to support that you know and always feel as good as possible even in in the most complicated circumstances oh okay so so you feel that your whole life experience is what contributes to what who you are today yes and my whole life's experience because i definitely begin be, uh, believe in uh, in reincarnation so for me um where what i come from where i come from and where I am now, now. It's totally part of my uh, of evolution? what I can actually Your evolution. Yes, and but what I can give to the people too. Because if I never had evolved, if I have never broken up, if I have never been sick, if I never had got married, if I never had uh, went to sc gone to school, or if I never had tripped on the on the sidewalk and uh, break my hand or anything like that, I would never be know. Who you are. Uh, exactly, and be who I am. And I'm extremely thankful for anybody in my life from before or now or, or the future. Part of because, your experience. Oh, yeah. And uh, I'm extremely grateful for that. And uh, that's very important for me. Okay, so you're talking about uh, people you don't want to see again and people you want to see again. Right? Yeah, anybody. Yeah. I mean, for me, I'm, I'm, I'm in full... Um, I mean, full respect and, uh, and uh, love uh, with everybody who has been in my life, uh, even if I will never see them again. Okay, so one thing that's, uh, I mean, you get into people's homes that they are private yes. centers. Do you do you have uh, some, you know, French people are kind of private? Do you let people in your private areas? I mean, it's like your, your place, your private place. Uh, I understand. And do you feel embarrassed if you go into people's private place? No, I mean, uh, I love your questions, actually. I really love your questions. Um, and yes, it's interesting. Is that so it's also why the the French are more uh, reluctant to, to show their anybo privacy. anybody to come into their home and uh, for interior decoration or uh, function, <laughs> let alone feng shui, or in even if they kind of believe it, but they are like, yeah, I, I want to show you, but I, I don't really want to show you. I'm like. Okay, <laughs> pick, <It's laughs> do private. something. I, I'm very intuitive, but I don't have the crystal ball for everything, you know. Right. So, <laughs> so you have to show me something sometimes. So, um, so French people are not the, the best clients then. Uh, for me, they, I mean, the French uh, people I had as I have uh, as clients uh, are great uh, clients, but uh, it's not my uh, most of my clients are not French. Was that what I'm what they say? Yeah, but they, anyway, to more so Americans are more open to open their homes. American and uh, not only American, but a lot of other countries. But uh, French is not my my main uh, thing. They are more private. And uh, it's not even that, it's just uh, they know better. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> don't, we, don't we French know better, ma chérie? Yeah. You know that exactly. And uh, if somebody is going to tell you something that you don't want to hear, you're not going to ask them, even if you know from beginning that this person can help you. How many times did I have some people saying, I so need you, the French one? They never call. And I know, and, and I hear people from you outside. Know, you know, because they want their privacy? And No, because they can't take it. They have oh. to solve it on their own. Oh. They will not call, they will, they will die on their own if they have to before they oh. ask for help. Is that true? A lot. Oh, my God. A bit, a bit less in the new generation, thank God, uh, because it was so... Do you ask for help sometimes? Oh, yes. I, uh, I understood uh, that I could be help, that I could give help, and that people were actually happy to help you. A while back, actually, um, uh, after a, um, a very difficult time in my life where I didn't ask anybody for help, and actually I cut from uh, all my friends for a few weeks. Um, what did you do? Call the stranger? I actually, yes, I went out like crazy. It was in Paris. I went out like crazy, and I met plenty of people I never met before. And actually, they are still my friends to that date too. So and you then, a, but my friends were trying desperately to understand what was going on, and they couldn't reach me, and they went out. They were nuts. And the, and then I finally picked up the phone and I answered and I explained what had happened in these three four weeks, where my life had just completely changed like radically, and um, so, and, and so suddenly they were all insulting me because I didn't call them to ask for help. Oh. And I was like, oh, but I didn't want to bother you. Oh. And I was able to do it on my own, and that's fine. And they were like, what? 
are you thinking? We are your friends. You've always been there for us. And why, uh, didn't, you're, you? You, why didn't you? But because I was raised like that, maybe. So <laughs> <laughs> we are very proud. My parents, my parents never asked for help for anyone. No, no, we are very proud. So voila. And so I, I suddenly, for me, it hit the spot. I was like, I'm stupid. I mean, I, I, de I deprived my people for the, from the joy to help me. Oh. Uh, because I'm so stupidly proud of what? It doesn't make any sense. Yeah. So I changed completely my uh, my point of view at that About time. That. And I switched completely. And now if I need something, I say it. And if I can help somebody, I help. Okay. And it's always the flow. And it's, it makes people feel good also because I, I use and I, I help a lot of people in a lot of ways. And people love to give back to you. Oh. But they don't know how to give back if you don't tell them that you need something. That's true. They they take from you, but then they would like to. We also absolutely give yeah. You. They are not uh, they are not vampires. I mean, oh, a lot yeah. of a lot of people are not vampires. A lot of them are, but in that case, you just uh, you, they are not your friends. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> no, no, no. That's a good. That's a good. They say the more you want to receive, the more you should give. Voila. So and so me, it's always been like that. But it needs to be both ways. Yes, it's a flow. It's a flow. It's, a flow. it's always yes. the flow. We come back to the to the thing about the flow. It's all about the flow. Well, it has been such a pleasure to interview you. I'm sure they have thousands of other things to tell us. So, well, yeah, it's already yeah. over. Yeah, it's almost <laughs> over. <laughs> it's, uh, we have been is going there a, a long time. Is there a Q&A thing? After yeah. if, they, if, they, if there are any questions, we'll do, I mean... We'll uh, do Q&A another time, yeah, just like I would he love came to. back, uh, Bernard, because he has so many uh, stories to tell. He came two weeks ago. Oh, that's great. So if you want, ever want to come back, you're welcome to. Now so, I know where we are. Yes, uh, so this was... Oh, Catherine, <laughs> Catherine Grisson, uh, Grisson sounds like Christine. Catherine Grisson. Grisson, Grisson. And Your French accent. <laughs> yeah, and she is, um, she is a person who will help you inside out and, uh, and uh, also in your actions and everything else. Yeah. So thank There's you beauty, so much. Beauty in your life uh, beauty. and joy, joy, and joy. Yes, so thank you Namaste. so much for being here. Merci, merci beaucoup pour m'avoir, c'est vraiment un plaisir et c'est un, un grand moment. J'adore tes questions, vraiment, okay. I, I love your questions, yeah. Thank and you. thank you, and if you have any, any questions, just contact me on my site okay. or on Facebook, uh, Catherine Grison, your French accent. Voilà. Okay, Au revoir. Thank you.